So I received a uh, few cases recently from labs saying that there were some issues with the scans that the doctor sent in for surgical guides. And um, I wanted to make a video to show what the lab saw and what the doctor saw, how to correct these types of errors in the future, how to prevent them from happening, and how to even recognize that they're there. So uh, this first one was sent to me. This is pretty clear cut and you can see the meshing errors caused at the incisal edge, which clearly would affect the, the fit and the stability of a guide uh, fitting over the occlusal aspect. So that's one case, something to look for in the future to make sure you're not getting uh, these types of errors. And I'll show you how to correct that as well. Uh, another case that was sent was this one. And you can see here, if we focus on this area over here, the stitching error that was happening from the scanner. The blue is the STL file. And you can see how that blue is uh, overlaid improperly for merging of those data sets. And when we look at the actual scan, we're going to look at the actual DICOM model in the true color aspect in the CareStream software. It's, it's difficult. This is that same case. It's actually difficult to see where those errors are. The arrows were pointing right here on the distal. And when I go back to my scan, you really can't see what the arrows are. So it's really important to use either the monochrome or turn on the light switch for the contrast view in full color. So when I turn this contrasted view on and I zoom in, well now you can clearly see what the problem is and how that would affect the fit of the actual guide. And you can see it's exactly what they were saying and where they were saying the issue is. And you can see the same thing in monochrome too. So when I convert this to monochrome, I'm going to see the same errors as I saw in that contrasted view with the light switch. So that's how to recognize what the issues are, but how do we correct it, or better yet, how do we prevent it? So this is a common scanning technique and possible error by new users. You'll start off in the posterior on the occlusal aspect, you'll work your way to the anterior, and you'll tend to air towards the lingual like that. And then you'll finish around the arch, work your way, work your way around to the buckle, then do more of a straight buckle shot like that. And of course work your way around and do the lingual. And finish your scan like that. The problem with that is that, you're, is that you're missing the incisal edge in the anterior here. And the scanner is going to pick up areas and have a harder time to mesh those together like you can see here. And those are the exact same errors that you were seeing in those couple of examples. In addition to that, you're getting a ton more of these green arrows which signifies that you need more data in that area. They get in the way and you have to correct them if it's important to the scan. Now you can roll the scanner over in the direction of those arrows or just roll over from buccal to lingual in those spots to fix those errors. But even better yet is to prevent them from happening in the first place. So I'll start off in the posterior just like before, but this time when I get to the anterior, instead of going to a straight lingual shot, notice I'm going to go more of a straight down incisal edge first. That actually 
captures a little bit of the buckle aspect as well, which is going to help for when I come around to the buckle, a little bit more of a 45 degree angle instead of a straight 90 degree buckle. But notice how everything meshes together really nicely in the buckle aspect when I first scan that incisal edge. You'll also notice I'm not getting a ton of the green arrows by scanning it in this way. And work my way around to the lingual. You might still get an arrow or two, but at least you're not getting six, seven arrows. Very easy to clean up. And you'll notice when I zoom in, even as it is, the incisal edge is really nice and smooth and clean. And if I wanted to clean up that one last arrow, I can do so. So I'm just going to roll from the lingual to the buckle in that particular area. That cleans up the incisal edge even better, gets rid of my arrow. And now you can see when I zoom in again, you'll see everything is nice and smooth and crisp, and I'm ready to go.